Hi, good morning. morning. Welcome to La Veranda. Good morning. Yeah. So today we have something for you guys. Our executive chef, who is a Singaporean, Chef Go, has prepared some of our best sellers. Nick, so nice to see you on a bike, finally. Yeah, thanks. And it's nice to meet you guys actually now, now that we're here. I've been in sea for like a oh, decade plus and everyone's been telling me, Nick, you should ride, you should ride. So this was like you're really just getting into it now? Yeah. What, what made you decide get into riding? I, I guess, you know, like with, with all this like new normal, with traveling being more important than ever nowadays, because going out there, it's, it's, it's a pastime that's really I, good for the soul nowadays. Yeah. So. It's more than just traversing for work or going to the office. Now, when it comes to, especially what I noticed with motorcycles, you can go to places. Yeah. This I'll say as someone who's starting, mm -hmm. there's like a sense of freedom that you do get. Like once you're on a motorcycle, sure. feeling yeah. the wind, feeling yeah. the like the motion of like the of everything. It's... There's a saying that um, how's that go? Four wheels move the body, and two wheels move the soul. soul yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I, I never heard that before. No, never, oh, never. There you go. <laughs> For me, like, if I have a migraine, like it's super, super painful, right? And yeah. once I get on a bike, I forget about it. Like literally, I can go anywhere, and then once I stop riding, that's where <laughs> I feel back. it again. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess it's like a, some level of therapy when it comes to like at like it's soul therapy yeah. when it comes to riding. Because you're so concentrated on what you're doing, you forget everything. You're just focused yep. on one thing. Yep. Oh, so it's it's something like because of the task at hand of like you know yeah. Yeah. riding that. Yeah. So that, it, it really it really clears your head exactly of whatever thought you have or whatever and you're, troubles. You're forced yeah. to focus and yep. just be in the moment. I noticed like the bike scene. Mm -hmm. as a whole was a niche but now yeah. it's becoming so popular that the bike scene is becoming more common like you see more bikes on the road and it's more than just transportation it's it's a it's a, it's a pastime as well it's yeah. a recreation it's a yeah it's, it's, a, it's, it's like i've noticed especially during the since the pandemic there have been so many new female riders for example oh, yeah, yeah. Like, there's so many new yeah, lady maybe. riders now it's nice that it's not so male dominated anymore mm -hmm. so it's yeah. pretty cool so karen how did you start your motorcycle uh, journey I'm, I'm i'm still a little bit new i guess you could say i started in august of 2017 um as a kid like i found pictures of myself like as a toddler sitting on different motorbikes so I guess I always had some sort of interest. I was like, I'll just, I'll just learn how to ride. So I signed up at um, driving school. So I started off on a small CC bike, which was good. It was great for yeah. getting myself comfortable with being on the two wheels. And then from there, I went to a big bike. My first BMW actually was a, the R19 Scrambler. Yeah, the yeah, R19 Scrambler. Um, so yeah, basically that's when I started. I just wanted to, to get on a bike. Um, no real reason, I just wanted to do it. Oh, and then it became like this thing where I just wanted to try going to different places and then you meet new people. Um, and all the while I would try to enroll, like I'd get a coach to teach me on the track. Um, I rode with some people who are really good riders and I would mm. learn from them. Mm. Yeah, because it's really important, like who you ride with is super important. Um, and getting lessons, never, never stop learning. Yeah, yeah never stop yeah. learning. What's a good starting bike, John? What you Generally say? speaking, it's the smaller, the better. Because it's lighter, it's more forgiving, and the parts are cheap. So mm -hmm. once, definitely you're gonna drop the bike at one point or another. It's okay. inevitable, yeah. So if you want something that you, you can repair easily, and parts are available, and it's light enough for you to pick it up. Mm -hmm. I think you should decide first, uh, you have to, be mature enough as a rider to know what kind of riding you want to yeah. get into. When you have a good idea of what you want to be, what, what kind of rider you want to be, like if you want to go into uh, cruisers, like the, the customization uh, yeah, like the scene, heritage, heritage type. type, like you can get into a R18 or a R19, R19. yeah. Oh. Or if you're more of an adventure 
rider like you wanna you like go, going off light trails on adventures on adventures, <laughs> on adventures. <laughs> long rides you can yeah. go for a gs uh, 1250 yeah. or if you're oh, more of a dirt rider you can go for a f850 F850 gs, F850 GS. there's also yeah. the f750 gs so, so they're all adventure bikes yeah. but the f750s and f850s are just a little um, it's more forgiving placement. than the. Yeah. Uh, like it's more road well, forgiving. Well, no, more seven. rider, more forgiving for a rider. Ah, yeah, and it's okay. actually nice also yeah. for a newer rider. The, the, the 850 and the 850. Yes, say it's more hardcore. Ah, the 850 okay. you can take because say off road. Yeah. That's mm. why it's also a little bit taller. The 750 is a little bit more on road bias. So if, if you're more of a. Like you just want to go on, go on a trip, but yeah. it's all on the road. Yep. Yeah. Four fifty. Or the. Okay, yeah. yeah. If you're more of a performance guy, like on road circuit yeah. or track, uh, then there's or the... you can get a roadster like an S1000R. If you're more, if you're more on the road than on the track. Okay. But yeah. If you're more, more serious on the track, get the S1000R. Wow. If you want something in between a tourer and a performance bike, you get the XR1000. Yeah, the yeah. S1000 XR. Okay, guys. After we eat, uh, I'd like you to teach me uh, tips on how to be a safer rider out there. Yeah, sure. Oh, for okay. sure. Yeah. Yeah, later. <laughs>Okay guys, after that really good lunch and our <laughs> secret double Super dessert. Super good lunch, secret. <laughs> that cake, uh, that was really good. I know, I know. That cake and that burnt, what's that, burnt the butter brune, cake? Or, the brune, the butter, butter cake. cake with ice cream, man. Okay, but now that we've burned off a little bit of it with another ride and now that we're here, uh -huh. let's go through the things that new people in riding like me should learn. So let's start with the safety gear. So we'll go from, from top to bottom. So first off. We go with the head and we need a helmet. <laughs> the rule of thumb is you get the best helmet you can get for your money. And another thing about helmets is the sizing. You have to measure your crown. like So crown is like the, right above the eyebrow, right? Right above yeah. the eyebrow and right above your ears. So mm -hmm. you have to find the one that best fits your head, your head shape. Yeah, yeah. And it has to be a snug fit. It has to be yeah. snug, like right like, here on your cheeks. Like you can't chew. Yeah, so it wouldn't uh, move on your face or yeah. your head. Yeah, okay. So yeah. next we go with a jacket. You want to have a nice jacket that is um, CE rated. CE rated. So you Armored. have all the, yeah. all the armor. Also, oh, that's where the padding comes in. This yeah. one comes in here. It's not yeah. just shoulders. padding. And even the back. Right? Even the back. And those yes. paddings, they're rated. Like they're C level one, level two, level three. Yep. It depends on how uh, how protective it is. Uh, higher spec, like uh, C level three or two. That's, that would protect you much better okay. yes. in a crash. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is uh, ventilated. Yep. So for summer or tropical weather like us here. It's usually um, the mesh jacket. Yeah. But then I can see the continuing thought after, like, if you, in case of an accident, you have to replace your gear. Yep. Yes. Okay. Especially with Especially the helmet. Especially the helmet. Your, your helmet is only good for five years and one, one crash. crash. Okay. So one impact and you have to throw it away. Buy another helmet. Yeah. Or you can keep it, display it. Keep it displayed. Display it. Yeah. Okay. Trophy. <laughs> after after the jacket, what's the next protective gear? Next? You're gonna save this. So we gotta save the digits. Um, very important to get good quality gloves as yep. well. You wanna have something that um, ideally will protect your knuckles. So there's uh, gloves that has like, like carbon, carbon, carbon or armor. aluminum. So some sort of armor. Yeah. Um, get get more exactly. coverage for your wrist as well because sometimes like that might slide up. So you wanna protect. Yeah. Mm, and, and that gauntlet, it's there so that your wrist won't hyperflex. Uh, moving down, we've got pants. Yep. So Same there's here. a lot of pants that you can get. There's riding jeans, yep. like what we are both wearing. Mm -hmm. My jeans have um, Kevlar, Kevlar uh, lining. So if there's a slide, uh -huh. it's not going to rip yeah. as quickly. It will yep. still rip, but it won't rip as quickly. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, yeah, so after is the pants is the boots. The boots. The boots. So the boots are really important. Um, of course, it's just kind of like your hands. Your, 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 your hands and your feet are very frail. So you really want to protect um, everything from your shins to your ankles, to your heels, to your toes. So um, get something that is as solid as possible and that will prevent too much movement. You want to dress for the crash, not for the ride. Just you, you don't want to regret not having the It takes a little bit more time, um, a little bit more effort, maybe a little bit hotter yep. if you're if more you're commuting but 
But it's worth you're gonna it. Thank, but, you're, you're gonna be thankful and wore everything once you get into it. Yeah, I guess that, that's why the the, sa- the safer the better. Yep. Yeah. So I guess that's like a, that's like the like pre ride ritual. Like wear all your gear. What what else for a pre ride ritual? I pray. That's the first thing pray. I do before I hop on the bike. I pray. Um, oh, one thing that I always do is if because I often ride alone. So if I am riding alone, I will always make sure to let my let, let my someone somebody know, know going, yeah. that this is where I'm going. I'm leaving now. When I get there, mm-hmm. I'm here. They're not worried. Okay. Then during a ride, what are your like rituals or like, things that you before tip for? Before a ride, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is to check the bike. Like the most important thing for me is the tire pressures. Yeah. So you want to conserve your tires and you want to be riding uh, in the correct tire pressures for the bike to be to handle uh, yeah. perfectly, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah. So tips during riding, what would you like, uh, give out there? Tips during riding, uh, you have to be alert. You have All to... the time. There's this <laughs> thing called target fixation. Yep. If you, you look at something, that. that's where you're going to go. And if there's some sort of emergency and you're staring at... If you see a at... pothole and you stare on that, you're, you're going to go you're on gonna that. That's where you're going to go. You're going to hit so that So you want to look... Look where you want to go. Yeah. That's where yeah. the bike will bring you. And uh, ride like everyone's out to get you. So you have to notice everything you practice yeah. your peripherals so it's like the defensive driving 2.0 yes. yeah <laughs> and then post uh, like after a ride is there any ritual you guys do you want to keep your helmet fresh right make sure you take your key out if you don't have a key fob key fob yeah, yeah cause, uh, don't lose the key fob don't lose the keys <laughs> okay yeah. i guess like i, I want to thank you because like what you said a while ago like especially for new riders it's you have to really find people to ride with that you can learn from oh, and, yes. and today i definitely learned a lot from you guys so thanks again guys for all these tips and tricks and what it takes for new people like me to ride okay anytime yeah you're welcome <laughs> now that that's out of the way let's go back to riding yes <laughs> let's go.